People often say to me, they say, J. John, you know, wh what do you do? And it's always very difficult to know what to say. Because if I say to you that I'm a reverend, which I am, that conjures up certain images in people's minds as to what I might be. <laughs> so I like to be a little bit creative in telling people what I do. I sat next to this lady on an aeroplane at Heathrow Airport. And I said, hello. And she said, oh, hello. And I said, where are you going? And she says, I'm going to Singapore. Then she said to me, where are you going? I said, I'm going to Australia. I said, what do you do? So she told me. Then she said, what do you do? And I said, well... <laughs> I work for a global enterprise. She said, do you? I said, yes, I do. I said, we've got outlets in nearly every country of the world. <laughs> she said, have you? I said, yes, we have. I said, we've got hospitals and hospices and homeless shelters. I said, we do marriage work. We've got orphanages. We've got feeding programs, <laughs> educational programs. I said, we do all sorts of justice and reconciliation things. I said, basically, we look after people from birth to death <laughs> and we deal in the area of behavioural alteration. <laughs> She went, wow! <laughs> and it was so loud, her wow, loads of people turned around and looked at us. She says, what's it called? <laughs> I said, it's called the church. <laughs> If we are a follower of Jesus, wow. then we are part of a global Absolutely. enterprise. But not only is it global, it's intergalactic because it includes everyone that's gone before us. Wow. Yeah. <laughs>